Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJO Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. We are at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field, Game 3 of the National League Division Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. I still think this is the most interesting of the four LDS series in this round. This series is tied one game to one. Could easily be a 2-0 series lead probably for the probably for the Cubs, but the Reds were able to pull it out in game 1 in a heck of a game and probably game of the year. Game number two went the Cubs' way. Now we're at Wrigley Field, and to see who will get here, take their two a two to one advantage, and see who will be facing elimination on Sunday morning, where Game three of this set will be played. The friendly confines of Wrigley Field, historic ballpark, and they get a chance here to root for the Cubs. John Haverly and Frank Rosenk are first to join us here at Wrigley Field. So if everybody is set and ready to go, it's time to play some baseball. Opening day really historically is tomorrow for the 2024 season. I know all of us can't wait. Unfortunately, my Mets are going to have to wait to play until Friday because the weather in New York is horrible. Brian Patterson now joins us here at Wrigley Field. But there is no bad weather here at RJL Network. It is always a beautiful day for baseball, as the late, great Bob Murphy would say. And let's get started. Starting pitcher for the Chicago Cubs, their number three starter, Bill Hands. I think it's the first time I've seen him this year. 11 wins, 8 losses, a 3 0 ERA, 96 strikeouts, and 40 walks in 72. We are at Wrigley Field. This is a hitter's park. 146 home runs, minus two to strikeouts. We could see a lot of balls going over the ivy in today's game, but who knows what will happen. As Brian B. now joins us here to manage his Cincinnati, Cincinnati Reds. So, Brian, you must stay on point. As if I call to you to make a play, you're going to have to let me know what's happening. So, Without further ado, let's go to the top of the first. Leading off for the Reds will be the left fielder, Mr. Pete Rose. Hall of Famer? No. One of the greatest of all time? Yeah. Uh, Rose is three for eight for the series. We're going to use blue, white, and blue dice. Cubs are the home team. The fans here at Wrigley Field are all cramped in here. And there's not an empty seat anywhere. Let's get started with the first pitch. Hands, 1-3, that is a blank. Rose, 4-5, and against a righty, that's a grounder to second base. That'll be taken care of there by Glenn Becker, and he will throw it over to first for the out. I should mention my picture is back on the screen. I don't know why I couldn't see anything, but obviously I checked the video, and you guys saw everything. I guess that's good enough. Next batter is the second baseman, Joe Morgan, Hall of Famer. Absolutely. He is two for seven for the series. Hands will go ahead and pitch. Hands, 3-2. Against the lefty, it's a blank. Morgan, 5-6. That's flying to right field. Jose Cardinal will go ahead and get to it and make the play for out number two. And now the center fielder, Bobby Tolan. He is 4 for 10 for the series so far. He's off to a pretty decent start. Hands will go ahead and pitch. Hands, 1-6. Hit by pitch, 1. Yeah, that hit him. Plunk, out. Just got him, too. Must have got him on the elbow. Tolan is a 7. Minus 5 makes him a 2. That is a 1. He just nicked him. And that is going to be the first hit batter of the game. So that allows him ran on base. And now the batter with the catcher, Mr. Johnny Bench. Hall of Famer, yes, one of the greatest of all time. Yes, and if you want to say he's the greatest catcher of all time, kind of hard to argue. Bench is two for eight, though, for the series. Phoenix Knight joins us here at Wrigley Field. You'll take your box of Kleenex to your seat away from everyone dealing with your cold. Feel better, my good man. Tolan, nothing on the 18. 
hands. Three, four. That's blank. Not tired. Bench. Two, one. And that is a ground out to third base. Ron Santo will go ahead and take his time. He will throw to first to get bench. And that will end the inning. No run, nothing across except the hit batter. And we'll go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds. Their number three starter, Ross Grimsley. And I think it's the first time I've seen I've seen him as well in this replay. 14 wins, eight losses, save a 305 ERA. 79 strikeouts, 42 walks in 72. So neither one of these guys are strikeout pitchers, actually. We go to the bottom of the first. Leading off of the Cubs with a shortstop, Don Kessinger. He is 3 for 10 for the series. Grimsley with the pitch. Grimsley, 5-2. Possible error. Kessinger, 2-3. That's a fly ball hit to right field. Going after that is Cesar Geronimo. His error rating is a 4. That's a nine. They'll make the catch, and that's out number one. One down. Here comes the second baseman, Glenn Becker. He is four for nine for the series. Grimsley, a six-one pitcher result against the righty. A one to thirteen to base it up the middle. The nine is good, and that will be a single past Grimsley and into the outfield. So first hit of the game for Becker. And now infield, a double play depth, and now the very dangerous left fielder, Billy Williams. He is four for nine for the series. He does have a home run. Becker, he will stay where he is. Ryan Sullivan joins us here at the friendly confines. Grimsley will pitch. Grimsley, 2-1 against the lefty. That's going to be an automatic out. And it's a ground out to third. Let's see if they turn it. 2-2-3. Two, two, Second base pivot Morgan zero one to three. It's a double play. Now we'll get it. Side retire. Five four three twin killing. No runs and a hit for the Cubs. No score after one. Who will be facing elimination on Sunday? That was where game two of game sorry game four of this series will be played. Top of the second. Leading off for the Reds will be the first baseman, Hall of Famer, Tony Perez. He is four for nine for the series. He's off to a pretty decent start. Hands, a two-three blank. Perez, one-four, and that's a base hit. He'll hit that one into right field. It'll be a single for Perez. Lead off man on for the Reds. And now the right fielder, Cesar Geronimo. He is three for nine for the series. He does have a bomb. Double play depth. Perez had four stolen bases. And he is not going anywhere. Hands will go ahead and pitch. D. Scott Howard, the goat whisperer, joins us here at Wrigley Field. Hands, one five, strike out 12, swing and a miss, struck the mound. First K for Hands, one down. And now the batter is the third baseman, Daryl Chaney. Chaney was 0 for 3 in the in uh, so far in this series. He's in for the injured Dennis Mankey, who is still out for this game and at least one and one more. Perez on at first. Strategy roll. Nothing on the nine. Perez stays put. Hands with the pitch. Hands. 5-3. Strikeout. 17 is high. Chaney. 1-4. Fly out to center field. And getting under that will be Rick Monday. And that will be out number two. And now the shortstop, Dave Concepcion. He is one for eight for the series. A lot of people think Concepcion should be Hall of Fame. I say Hall the very good, and that's about it. Strategy roll. Nothing on the five. Perez will stay put. Hands with the pitch. Hands, 1-1. One, one. Range play at the park. Wrigley Field, 4-5. That's going to be a blank. And we got a rare play with men on instead. So the range play is canceled out. And that is a 53. Deep fly to left field, caught. And that's pretty much all I got to say because runner on second has to backtrack. But it's a deep fly to left field and it's caught. 
I don't need to go any further than that. So that's going to be a fly out to left fielder Billy Williams, and that's going to end the inning. No runs and a hit. Runner stranded. It's still no score going in the bottom of the second. He isn't a Hall of Famer. I don't. No, he's not a Hall of Famer. Hall of the Very Good. I'll put him in the Hall of the Very Good. I have no issue putting him there. That I have no problem with. Top, bottom of the second inning, leading off of the Cubs will be the first baseman, Jim Hickman. He is 3 for 11 for the series. He does have a bomb. Grimsley will go ahead and pitch. Is that your Menke? <laughs> so, yes. Grimsley, 1-6. That's at the park. Wrigley Field, 6-3. And it's grounded right at the plate. Johnny Bench will go ahead and pick that up. And he'll throw it at first easily for the out. Easy play there for Bench. And now the third baseman, the forgotten Hall of Famer, I sometimes think. Ron Santo. He is three for ten for the series. Grimsley with the pitch. Grimsley, three, four. That's blank, not tired. Santo, six, six. That's a ground out to short. Concepcion will go ahead and get it. Toss it over for the out. Two down. Even though today is Wednesday, the next batter is center fielder, Rick Monday. And he is two for seven for the series. Grimsley, a 3-1 walk. 18. Yep, just walked him. Wow, right on, the, right on the border. And Grimsley thought that should have been a strike. But Monday, an 18, and that is an 18. There's no adjustment. It'll be a two-out walk. And that will allow the catcher, Randy Hundley, to come up. He is one for nine for the series. And uh, let's see here. Strategy roll. Monday, I think, is going to stay put, and he will. Clee Baseball fan joins us here at Wrigley Field. Yes, we mentioned that with Chuck Seelbach. We do know that. He rest in peace. Grimsley with the pitch. 2-2 two -two against the righty. Strikeout 11. That will miss. Hundley, 5-6, and against the lefty, it's a fly ball to left field. And that's going to get Rose over there, and he'll make the play and retire the side. Nothing across except the walk. No score after two. I don't know if any of you guys real. Uh, I don't know if you guys really know about your music, but I would like to know. Let you guys know that Diana Ross just turned eighty yesterday. So, and I happen to be a big fan of her music. I happen to be a big fan of all music. So, for those of you who do know who Diana Ross is, Boss Ross just turned eighty years old. One of the trailblazers of music for the black for for the uh, black culture. Absolutely. And I do rank her, and I do rank them up, rank her up there with Aretha Franklin, Dionne Warwick. I do rank her up there, absolutely there. Donna Summer, Tina Turner, Shaka Khan. I do absolutely rank her up there. Top of the third, no score. And leading off will be the pitcher Ross Grimsley, a one twenty one average and an RBI in seventy two. Hands will go ahead and pitch. Hands, 2-2, two, two. walk, 4, that's too high. Grimsley, 2-2, two, two. and it's a swing and a miss and struck him out. And that'll be strikeout number two for Hands, one out. Ruth Pointer had a birthday, yes, 79, yes, 78 years young. Absolutely. Ro Next batter is Rose, he's 0 for 1. Hands. 4-3, walk, 7, that's ball 4. Pete Rose will draw the base on balls. He'll get the free pass. First walk issued by hands, it'll bring up Morgan. Morgan is 0 for 1. If any of you guys know, if everyone has seen Diana Ross and what she wears, in my opinion, she's the only woman that can wear the outfit she does and get away with it. Infield at double play depth. Rose at 10 stolen bases, and he's not going anywhere. Hands with the pitch. Hands, 6-6. Six, six. That's a pitcher result. Lefty, 1-10, to ten, a base hit up the middle. The 18 is too high. Morgan, 5-2. It's a fly ball to right. 
Jose Cardinal will come under that and make the play for out number two. And now the batter is Tolan. Tolan got hit by a pitch the first time up. Yes, you can say the same thing about Lena about Tina Turner. She's also the only woman that can get away with what she was wearing. And she was, of course, one of the best. She was simply the best, and I miss her. I miss all of these wonderful singers. But happy birthday to Diana Ross. 8-0. That's, that's amazing. Strategy roll. Nothing on the... Actually, Rose gets it. Nope, nothing happening. It's two outs. You don't do a hit and run here. Hands with the pitch. 3-4. That's a blank. Not tired. Tolan. 4-4. Four, four. And that's a fly to right. And that's going to be Cardinal once again getting to that. And nothing across except the walk. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Grimsley back on the mound. Leading off for the Cubs will be the right fielder, Jose Cardinal. He is two for seven for the series. Grimsley with the pitch. Grimsley, 3-1, walk, 12. Nope, that's too high. Cardinal, 6-2, base hit. He'll hit that one down past first base, and the leadoff man is on. Single for Cardinal. That will bring up the pitcher, Bill Hands. He was awful, 018 average. And uh, he's definitely probably going to lay down the bunt. The corners are going to come in. Strategy roll, though. That is a nine. Cardinal stays where he is. So they're going to lay down the bunt. So Grimsley will select the pitch. 3-3, three, three, strikeout, 15. Is that going to be enough? Let's see. 34 minus 2 becomes a 32. When you bunt, you divide that, you divide that by 2, and that becomes a 16. That's a 15. Won't matter. Bill Hands fouls off strike three, and that's going to be an out. That will be a strikeout. That'll be the first strikeout for Grimsley, one down, as Bill Hands fouls it away for strike three. Trying to call the bunt. Now the batter is Kessinger. Kessinger is 0 for 1. Strategy roll, and nothing on the 10. Cardinal stays where he is. Grimsley with the deal. Grimsley, 6-5, against the switch right. That's a blank. Kessinger, 5-6. That's a power hit to left field. That is a 15. And that is going to be against the lefty. That is going to be a triple into the Ivy and left. Cardinal will come around. He will score. Kessinger slides into third base. one nothing Cubs. Stadium cheers. Yay! Kessinger comes through with an RBI triple to put the Cubs ahead. He hits lefties a little better. And now the batter is Becker. Becker is one for one. Infield coming in. Already the Cubs now have a one a one nothing. Strategy roll. And that's a 10 nothing happening. Grimsley, he will pitch. 6-3. That is a range play. Becker, 4-3. It's a base hit to center field, but it's a range play for Bobby Tolan. He's after it. His range is a 3. He won't get it. It's going to be a single. Becker will go to first. Kessinger comes in to score. 2 nothing Cubs. Stadium cheers. Yay! And now here's Williams. Williams is 0 for 1. Infield now at double play depth. 2 nothing now in favor of the Cubs in the bottom of the third. Strategy roll. Beckert will stay where he is. Grimsley, 2-4. Strikeout, 13. That is high. Williams. Three, six, and it's fly to right field. Geronimo will get to that one and make the play for the out. Two outs. Now here's Hickman. Hickman is 0 for 1. Jimmy Jam joins us here at Wrigley Field, the friendly confines. Nothing on the nine. Grimsley will go ahead and pitch. Grimsley, 2-4. Strikeout, 18 is high. Hickman. 
One four, and that's a fly out the right field. Geronimo again will get to that one. He will make the catch and retire the side. Two runs, three hits, an RBI triple by Kessinger and an RBI single by Becker. Two nothing Cubs after three. Top of the fourth, hands, he will be pitching to Mr. Johnny Bench. He is 0 for 1. Hands with the deal. Hands, 1-4, strikeout, 19 is high. Bench, 2-1, that's ground ball, hit to third base. Over there is Santo, and he will throw it over, one down. Perez is next. Perez got a base hit his first time up. Hands. 5-4. Blank. Perez. 2-1. That's hit the left field. The fly ball to left. And Williams will come over a couple of steps, make the play. Two down. And now Geronimo. Geronimo's 0 for 1. Hands with the pitch. 1-2. Possible error. Geronimo, 5-4, fly ball hit to center field. Going after that is Rick Monday. His ever rating is a 1. That's a 12. He'll make the catch. Side retired. 1, 2, 3, go the Reds. And it's 2 nothing Cubs going into the bottom of the fourth. Whoever loses today faces elimination Sunday morning. Ron Santo leads off for the Chai Cubs. He's 0 for 1. Series tied at 1 here in this NLDS. Grimsley, 4-1. Error on a grounder. Santo, 1-4. Nope, that's a fly ball to right. And Geronimo is going to make his third put out in a row, one down. Next up is Monday. Monday walked his first time up. Grimsley. 5-3, that's a blank. Monday, 1-6, and a line out right to short. Concepcion is there. Hit hard, but right at Dave Concepcion, two down. And now Hundley, Hundley 0 for 1. Grimsley, 3-2, strikeout, 17 is high. Hundley, 4-4, four, four, and that's a fly ball hit the left field. This time, Mr. Peter Rose. We'll go ahead and get to it. And Grimsley has a better inning after the third. We're four in the books. Two nothing in favor of the Cubbies. Like to remind you guys once again, the 2001 and 2004 seasons are now available from Inside Pitch and Chris Davis. His also his fast action cards are now available on the website. If you feel you need to download those and use them in order to get the base running mechanics down a little bit, Feel free to do so. I will probably do a tutorial video on them, but I will not use them. I do not need them. We go to the top of the fifth, 2 nothing in favor of the Cubs. Leading off will be Daryl Chaney. He is 0 for 1. Hands with the pitch. Hands, 2-1. Range play. Chaney, 6-3. That's a ground ball to second base. The ball is hit to Glenn Becker. He was pretty good. His range is a four. That's a six. It'll get past them. It'll be a base hit. Chaney gets his first hit of the series for taking over for Mankey. And now here's Concepcion. He's 0 for 1. Infield a double play depth. Chaney had one stolen base. And that is a 14 nothing happening. Yes, Jenkins is the fourth starter. Chaney on it first. Hands with the pitch. Hands, 4-4, four, four, walk, 1, ball, 4. And now runners at first and second and no one out. So now the Reds have a chance here. Second walk issued by Hands. The batter is Grimsley. He will come up there. He is 0 for 1. And expecting probably he can actually hit the ball here. I wonder what Brian B. wants to do. First, let me see what gets strategy. That is a 15. A bunt comes up. The question is, does Brian B. want a bunt with Grimsley or hit away? What will he say? He says bunt. 
okay? The bunt will be in, and I'm going to say they would expect the bunt from the pitcher, so I'm going to say the corners are in. Hands with the pitch. Hands, 3-5. Against the lefty, it's a blank. Grimsley will bunt, and that is a 6. It's bunted right at the plate. That is a 14. Grimsley's bunt rating is a 3, but hit at the plate becomes a 2. That's a 14, and that is going to be the lead runner thrown out, and the hitter is safe at first. So it's bunted at the plate. Hundley's got it. Throws the third to get Cheney. One out. Concepcion moves to second, and Grimsley's at first, and it becomes the fielder's choice. So that is a fielder's choice bunt try. But now the batter is Rose. Rose is 0 for 1. He walked. Infield now with double play. Strategy roll. And nothing on the 6. Hands will go ahead and pitch to Rose. Hands. 5-6. Against the switch left. That's a blank. Rose. 3-1. It's a ground ball to short. 2-2-3. Second base, pivot, Beckert, minus one. So a one or a two, it's a double play. They won't get it. Concepcion will get the third. Grimsley will be thrown out at second. Rose takes first. And they are now two down. Another, field, another fielder's choice, pretty much. And now a chance for Morgan. Morgan is 0 for 2. Infield is now back. Runners at the corners. Two outs, top of the fifth. Two nothing Cubs. Series tied at one. Strategy. Nothing on the 10. Hands will pitch to Morgan. Hands. 4-4. Four, four. Walk. 16. Ball four. The bases are loaded. He walks Morgan. And now the bases are full of reds. That is the third walk issued by hands, and here comes Bobby Tolan. Tolan is 0 for 1, got hit by a pitch. The fans here at Wrigley Field hoping hands can get out of this inning. Bases full of reds. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 12. Hands will go ahead and pitch to Tolan. The fans here at, Frig at the friendly confines are, yeah, are loud, get helping, trying to help hands. Tolan hoping to hit one. Hands. 6-5, strikeout, 15. That is going to be too high. Tolan, 3-1, and against the righty, Tolan's going to come through, and that's going to be a double in the center field. Concepcion will score. Rose will score. Double the center, Morgan with two outs. Base runner, five. Double the center, plus two. He will score. Tolan to second. Reds take the lead, three to two. Stadium groans. Ugh. He clears the bases with a three RBI double. And now it's three to two in favor of the Reds. And now here comes Bench. And Bench is 0 for 2. David Vega joins us here at Wrigley Field. Tolan on at second. Now a three to two Reds lead. As a Bobby Tolan comes through with a huge three RBI double. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Hands turns around, fires to second, but Tolan will get back. Now Hands will pitch the bench. Hands, 6-5, strikeout six. Cold strike three on bench. He got him, and the inning is over. And that is the third strikeout for Hands, but damage done. Three runs, two hits, a couple of walks. And you could not turn a double play when you had a chance. It's 3-2 to two now going in the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Cubs will be Jose Cardinal. He got a base hit his first time up. 
Three to two Reds now, bottom of the fifth. Grimsley, one three against the righty. It's a blank. Cardinal, three six. That's ground ball right back to the pitcher. Grimsley will go ahead and get that and toss it over for the out. Next batter is Hands. Hands is 0 for 1. Grimsley, 3 6. That's a walk. That 7. He walked him. Holy cow, he walked Bill Hands. Just walked him on a 7. As Grimsley didn't take Hands, I guess, um, seriously. That's the second walk of the game for Grimsley. That allows Hands to get to base. And now here's Kessinger. Kessinger got a triple his last time up. He's one for two. Infield double play. Strategy roll. I don't think Hands is going anywhere, and he's not. Grimsley with the pitch. Grimsley, 5-4. That's at the park. Wrigley Field, 5-4. It's a base hit to left field. That'll be a single. Hands, a base runner run. Single to left, minus two. He's not going to have any chance. He will hold at second base. And now the Cubs got something going on. Kessinger gets his second hit of the game. And now here's Becker. Becker two for two with two singles. Infield is still a double play depth. Fans at Wrigley hoping Becker can come through with a good hit. Strategy, nothing on the six. Hands at second, Kessinger at first. Grimsley will pitch. Grimsley, 3-5. Home run chance. Righty, 1-9. to nine. The four is good. Becker didn't have many, but he hits why he puts it right over the plate. Becker needs a three. Not even close. 2-4, and instead he grounds it to second base. 2-2-3. Two, two, Shortstop, pivot, Concepcion, zero. One to three, they get out of the inning, and they will side retire. Four, six, three, double play, no runs, a hit, and a walk. As, as, as Grimsley puts it right in Beckert's wheelhouse, and Beckert just chops it to second, and he is not happy. It stays three to two after five. Stadium groans. Ugh. Top of the sixth. Hands. He can still pitch to five more batters. Tony Perez will lead off for the Natty. He's one for one, one for two. Hands with the pitch. Hands. Four two. Strikeout. Sixteen misses. Perez, 3-4, and that's ground ball to first base. Hickman will go ahead and take it himself, one out. Here comes Geronimo. Geronimo is 0 for 2. Hands, 4-6, strikeout, 5, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that's the fourth strikeout for Hands, two down. Next up is Cheney. Cheney is one for two, has a single. Hands sets up with the deal. Hands, four, three, walk, four. And it's ball four, he will walk Cheney. So Cheney draws a walk. It'll bring up Concepcion. Concepcion walked his last time up. He's 0 for 1. Strategy roll for Cheney. And that's a 20. Hands fires the first and picked him off. Got him. Oh, uh, Hands goes ahead. A pickoff is a 2-6. to six. That's a 4. And Daryl Cheney is caught off the bag. And the inning is over. Nothing across except a walk. As Cheney apparently wasn't paying attention. And Concepcion will have to wait to the bottom of the 7th inning to bat. We go to the bottom of the 6th. Hall of Famer Billy Williams leads off. He is 0 for 2. Bottom of the sixth inning now. 3 to 2 Reds. Grimsley looking in on Williams. Here comes the pitch. Grimsley, 4 5 against the lefty. That is an automatic out. And it's a ground out short. 
handled by Concepcion. And the throw goes to first for the out, one down. And Williams is now 0 for 3 after having a very good game in number 2. Here's Hickman. Hickman is 0 for 2. Grimsley. 3-3, three, three, strikeout. 17 is high. Hickman, 2-6. And that's fly to center field. Bobby Tolan coming under that. He'll make the play for out number two. And now Santo. Santo 0 for 2. Grimsley sets up and deals. 3-2, strikeout 12. That's high. Santo, 3-5. It's a base hit to right field. Santo keeps the inning going. With a two-out base knock. And now here's Monday. Monday 0 for 1 with a walk. Santo had one stolen base. He's not getting any here. Grimsley will pitch to Monday. Fans here at the friendly confines hoping for a good hit. Grimsley, 3-2, strikeout, 5, swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. And that is strikeout number, that is only strikeout number 2 for Grimsley. No runs and a hit. 3-2 to two Cubs after 6. We go to the top of the seventh. Hands, he can pitch to two more batters before he tires, and they're going to let him pitch. Dave Concepcion leads off for the Natty, 0 for 1 with a walk. 3 to 2 Reds, series tied at 1 here in this NLDS. Hands, 3 3, error on a throw. Concepcion, 6-3 against the righty. That's, that's going to be an infield single. It's an infield single to third base. It's picked up by Ron Santo. His error rating is a 10. That's a 16. He'll hold on to the ball, and Concepcion will stay at first. So Concepcion will hold at first base. And now that'll bring up a double play, and now the batter is Grimsley. And Grimsley could still pitch the four batters. What does Brian B. want to do here? You are in the seventh inning. What does Brian B. want to do? Grimsley has four more batters left, but this is the seventh. He says pull him. So who do you want in return? So that'll be it for Grimsley as he will come out of the game. And who does Brian B. want to bat? And, of course, you usually know I go by most at-bats early in this kind of situation, but this is kind of your team there, Brian, so I'll actually let you make a pick. And, yep, I would have went with the same guy. Coming on to pinch hit for the Reds will be Joe Haig. 243 average, 7 homers, 31 RBIs. Haig will come on and pitch. Or not, he will hit for hands. Infield, a double play depth. Hands will strategy roll. Nothing on the 18. Nope. Hands will go ahead and pitch to Haig. Hands. 4-5. Range play. Haig. 4-6. It's a double into center field. But going after it is, is Rick Monday. His range is a three. Does he take a double away from Haig? No, it's going to be a double into center field. Haig comes through off the bench. Concepcion, base runner three. Double to center, plus one. A one before he will score, and he will. Hey, trying to think of third. A base running rating of three. Does he take third base? Yes, he does. Hey, will wind up on third with a triple. Concepcion scores for the two Reds. Stadium groans. <sighs> I'll make that a triple for Haig as he does take third on the throw. And now four to two in favor of the Reds. And now the batter is Rose. Hands is tired, and that will be it for him. So Bill Hands will come out of the game. The Cubs had a lot of good opportunities, but now the Reds looking like to try to get more runs. Mike in the truck joins us here at Wrigley Field. 
Let's see who the Reds are going to bring in to pitch. The infield will come in. And let's see. Got to switch. Coming on to pitch for the Cubs is going to be Bill Bonham. One win, one loss, four saves, a 3-1-2 ERA. Bonham will come in to pitch. And now Rose is the batter, and he is 0 for 2 with a walk and a fielder's choice. Infield is in. Nobody out here. Top of the seven. Reds now lead 4 to 2. Strategy roll. Nothing on the six. Haig stays at third. Bonham with the pitch. Bonham, 2 5. Possible error. Rose, 4 4. That's not an error. It's a slow hit ball to first. That's going to get a run in. Getting in is Hickman. Bonham coming over. Rose, pretty good speed. His base running rating is a four. And he's safe. That's going to be an infield single. Haig will come and he will score. It's five to two reds. Stadium groans. Ugh. That goes as an infield single. And now the batter is Morgan. As Uncle Dave Gardner joins us here at Wrigley Field. Always an honor when he shows up. Of course, it's an honor when all of you guys show up. Check out Dave Gardner. Lately, he is playing APA football. And as I said to as I said to Al Red Sox fan, I'm watching you guys have a lot of fun, and I have no clue what you're doing, but that's fine. I'll just sit back and lurk. Rose is on at first. Morgan is now at bat. He is 0 for 2 with a walk. Now a 5-2 game here, top of the 7, infield now a double play. Strategy, nothing on the 5, row, that's well, there's a hit and run possibility, but I think you're letting Morgan swing. He's got very good home run power against righties. My name is Mud is lurking here at Wrigley Field, but we found you. Bottom with the pitch. Bonzo, 6-4, that's at the park. Wrigley Field, 1-6, base hit, center field, it's a single. Rose, base runner four, single to center, minus one, a one to three. Rose will get to third. It's a six. Rose coming around second, Morgan on it first. Center fielder is Monday, has a zero arm. A one to three, there'll be a play. It is a five. Rose puts on the brakes and heads back to second. And maybe the right thing to do. And right now, the Cubs can't get anybody out. And here's Tolan. Tolan got a big three RBI double his last time up. He is one for two. Double and hit by a pitch. Still no one out here in the top of the seventh as the Reds right now are putting a hurt on the Cubs. Cubs jumped out to a 2 nothing lead. The Reds have now scored five unanswered. No lead is safe at inside pitch. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Rose on at second. Morgan at first. Bottom. 4-1. Walk. Three. And that is ball four. And the Cubs are absolutely imploding in this inning. And now, who could come up at this time? Mr. Johnny Bench. Bench is 0 for 3. You know he is due. Sports Time Machine, Utah Mike and Steve Tower join us here at the Friendly Confines. Bases are loaded. The Reds already got two in here in the inning. Bench at the plate. Bottom will pitch to him. The infield is going to play in. All right, now it's a 5-2 Reds lead. Series tied at one. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 14. Bottom will go ahead and pitch to Bench. And here comes the pitch. Bottom, 5-2 against the righty. Strikeout plus 10. He will get benched there on a 14. Struck him out. Bench goes down on strikes. One down. Here comes Perez. And Perez is one for three. He's got a single. Strategy roll again. Nothing happening. One out now in the top of the seventh. If the Cubs won, I still have hope. They cannot let any more of these runs in. Bases are loaded. Bottom will go ahead and he will pitch. 
Bonham, 2-4. Range play. Perez, 1-1. One, one. It's a fly ball to right field. Going after that is Jose Cardinal. He was not that good. His range is a 2. And that is a 3. And that's going to be a base hit to right field for Tony Perez. Rose will score. Let's see. Single to right. Morgan, base runner, 4. Single to right, a zero, a one to four. Morgan will score, and it's a six. So Morgan coming around third. Right fielder is Cardinal, a minus one arm, a one to four. A one to four, there'll be a play. That is a five, and Morgan puts on the brakes, and he stays at third. But a run will score at six to two, Reds. Stadium groans. <sighs> Bases are still loaded. Morgan decides to hold the third base. And now here's Geronimo. And that's going to be it for Bonham. He is coming out. They've seen enough from him. And the Cubs will go back to the bullpen here. And coming on to pitch for the Cubs is going to be, is going to be Tom Phoebus. Three wins, four losses, six saves. Phoebus. Uh, actually, he has no, he has nothing there, actually, no uh, official stats, although he has made appearances. So Tom Phoebus will come in to pitch to Geronimo. Still one out, but now six to two Reds. Geronimo is 0 for 3. St infield is staying in. Phoebus will set it up. Strategy rolls are now off. Phoebus, 2-5. Against the lefty, it's an automatic out. And that's going to be a ground ball to third. The infield is in. Morgan, a base running rating of four. Now a ground ball to third, and they are in. So a double play rating of two, nothing on there. So a wonder two, this is a double play. No, Morgan is thrown out at the plate, and the runners will advance one base. So Morgan is tossed out at, at the plate for the second out. On the fielder's choice. And now the batter is Cheney. Cheney is one for three. He's the ninth batter. Actually, one for two. A single and a walk. He's the ninth batter in this inning. Two outs. Reds now lead six to two. It seems like every game is going like, you say, pinch hit McCray. Okay. So Daryl Cheney will come out of the game. And coming on to pinch it for the Reds will be Hal McRae, 278 average, five homers, 26 RBIs. He'll take over at first. Has the same range as Cheney. It really don't matter. So Hal McRae will pinch it here. So bases are loaded with two outs. Reds trying to blow it open. Phoebus, he'll go ahead and pitch to McRae. Fans at Wrigley Field. Hoping for something. Strategy rolls are off. Phoebus. 6-1. Against the righties. Strikeout plus 10. That is a 12. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He got him. Just got him. And the inning is over. Wow, he just got him on a 12. And Hal McRae is strikes out right there. He's a 5, minus 2 makes him a 3, but a strikeout plus 10 makes him a 13, and that 12 will get him to end the inning. One an inning, though, for the Reds. Three runs, five hits, one walk. They do leave the bases loaded, but the Reds now have a four-run lead. And we are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back.
tomorrow night we are on our way to the Astrodome. There are of the there are there's only one series. There's only one series right now facing elimination, and that is tomorrow night. Tomorrow night will be Game Three of the National League Division Series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Houston Astros. The Astros lead that series two games to none. Pirates must win. Bob Moose is on the mound for the Pirates. And Ken, may the force be with you, is on the mound for the Astros. Can the Astros punch their ticket to the NLCS? Or can the Pirates force a game four? Elimination game tomorrow night. NLDS game three, Pirates and Astros, Moose and Force. That is tomorrow night on the network. Bottom of the seventh inning here, Reds have a 6-2 to two lead. Randy Hundley leading off for the Cubs. And coming on to pitch for the Reds is going to be Pedro Borbone. And Borbone has, believe it or not, he has a couple of appearances but no stats. So Pedro Borbone will come on to pitch for the Reds as the Reds absolutely scorched the Cubs in the top of the inning. Now the Cubs hope they can get some in the bottom of the inning. Hundley will lead off. Bottom of the seven, six to two Reds. Barbone. 4-4. Four, four. Against the righty. It's a blank. Hundley. 2-3. Base hit. Center field. Hundley leads off with a single. The next batter will be Cardinal. Cardinal one for two with a single. Infield double play. Strategy rolls are off. Borbone will go ahead and pitch. Borbone, 1 6. That's at the park. Wrigley Field, 5 1. Base hit right field. That's a single for Cardinal. Hundley, a base runner, 4. A single to right field, plus 1. A 1 or a 2. Hundley will take third, and he will. He chugs hard and fast, and he will get to third base. Cardinal will stay at first. And now runners in the corners and nobody out. Here come the Cubs. Here come the Cubs. And we'll see a pinch hitter for Tom Phoebus as the Cubs will go to the bench. And coming on to pinch it for the Cubs will be Joe Pepitone. 262 average, 8 homers, 21 RBIs. Pepitone will pinch it against Bourbonne. What does Brian B. want to do? Infield in, infield back. What inf Double play depth. What do you want to do there, Brian B.? I kind of think double play depth. You're trying to get out, but I don't know. It's up to you. Double play depth. Very well. Hundley on it third. Cardinal on it first. Borbone comes in, and he, ought to, and he gives up already. And he gives up already two singles. And now here's Pepitone, who's got good home run power. Strategy rolls are off. Borbone looking in on Pepitone. Here comes the pitch. Borbone, 1 4. That's a blank. Pepitone, 5 2. It's a ground ball to third. Let's see if they turn the double play. 2 2 3. Second base pivot Morgan, 0 1 to 3. It's a double play. No, Hundley will come in to score. That four is not fast enough. Cardinal is actually going to get the second. The only play they have is the first to get Pepitone, and that's out number one. So they will get a run in. It's now it's now six to three as the Cubs get one run, and Cardinal moves to second. He had it was actually a little bit too slow. So now the batter is Kessinger with a runner at second base. Infield is now back. Now a 6-3 to three game. Kessinger 2-3, for three, a triple and a single. Strategy rolls are back on. And nothing on the 11. Cardinal stays at second. Borbone will go ahead and pitch. Borbone, 2-3. That's a blank. Kessinger, 1-2. Base hit right past first and into the outfield. And that is a single. Cardinal, base running, base runner five, 
And that is going to be easily fast enough. He will come around. He will score at 6 to 4. Stadium cheers. Yay! RBI single by Kessinger. And now the batter is Beckert. Beckert is two for three, two singles. The Cubs get two back. And the infield is at double play depth. Fans at Wrigley Field hoping maybe Beckert can come through. He almost had a home runner last time, but didn't get a chance here. Borbone pitching to Beckert. Kessinger on it first. Now a 6-4 to four game. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Actually, Beckert, a good bunter, but he's not bunting here. He's swinging. Borbone will go ahead and pitch. Borbone, 5-3, walk, 6. Ball 4, Beckert has walked, and now the tying runs are on. Just walks Beckert, and Beckert now runners at first and second, and now here's Williams. Williams is 0 for 3, but you know he is due. <laughs> no ghost this trip on back. Kessinger on at second. Beckert on at first. Borbone. He can still pitch to three more batters before he tires. But right now, the Cubs got a chance to get these runs back. Borbone pitches to Williams. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Borbone looking at Williams. The fans at Wrigley Field hoping he gets a good hit. Borbone will pitch. 2 4. It's a blank. Williams, 6-1, it's a fly ball to left field. Pete Rose is going to go ahead and get to it. He'll make the catch for out number two. And Williams is having an 0-4 night. Tough night for him, and now a chance for Hickman. Hickman is 0-3. You kind of think he's due as well. Two men down. It's now 6-4. Cubs are back in this game. Strategy roll. That is a three and nothing happening. Borbone will pitch to Hickman. Fans at Wrigley Field again are loud, hoping for a big hit. Borbone will pitch. Four, six. That is a blank. He is not tired. Hickman. Three, one. And it's a ground ball to short. Getting over there is Concepcion. He's got it. He'll go the short way, throw the second to get Becker, and the inning is over. Cubs get two back, two runs, three hits and a walk. Six to four after seven. This game is not over yet. We go to the top of the eighth. Leading off for the Reds is Dave Concepcion. Cubs will go to the bullpen. And they're going to go with, let's see, righty. Let's see. They're going to bring, they are going to go ahead. They're going to bring, they are going to, wow, I really don't know what to do here. I'm trying to not bring in the ringers until ninth inning or later. So if that's the case, then I have to go with the pitchers that actually had the most appearances. And I really don't think they would bring him against him. But then again, he I don't think he would. I don't think he would. I'm trying to change my rules on ringer pitchers. If they had less than 10 appearances, they go. they don't come in until the ninth inning. So if that's the case, then I have to go with the closer. That's what I'm going to do. Coming on to pitch for the Cubs is going to be the closer right now, Jack Aker. Six wins, six losses, 17 saves, 2.96 ERA. Aker does have a save in the in the game in the series. They're going to go ahead and bring in Jack Aker right now to try to keep it where it is. Concepcion, he is one for two with a single. Aker can pitch to six batters. And then again, they may have him pitch longer, depending on what happens in the eighth inning. Aker will pitch. 
Aker, 2-4. Error on a throw. Concepcion, 4-5. And that's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Jim Hickman. His error rating is a 6. That's a 4. And he throws it wide past Jack Aker. Aker's range is a 5. He'll prevent the ball from getting past him, but Concepcion is safe. That is a huge error. That's an E3 on Hickman. That's the first error on the Cubs in the ballgame. And Concepcion is safe. And now the infield, a double play depth. And now we will see. And now Brian B wants to go with Javier, and we will. Coming on to pinch it for the Reds will be Julian Javier. 209 average, two homers. 12 RBIs in 72. Infield is at double play. A huge error on Jim Hickman, who throws it wide. Aker does prevent the ball from getting past him, so Concepcion can only take the base. Strategy rolls are still on. Nothing on the seven. Concepcion stays where he is. Jeff Merklin joins us here for Wrigley Field. Aker, 6-4 against the righty. It's a blank. Javier, 5-3, and it's popped out to short. Kessinger is going to call for it, and he'll make the catch for the out. Next batter is Rose. Rose is three. Rose is one for three tonight, single and a walk. Strategy roll, and nothing happening. Concepcion stays at first. Aker will go ahead and deal. Aker, 2-5, hit by pitch, 17, plunk, ouch, he hit him, he hit Rose, Rose is a 7, Aker plus 10 makes him a 17, that is a 17, and now runners at first and second. That's the second hit batter of the game, that means all pitchers now are ejected, and now the batter is Morgan, and Morgan is 1 for 3, a single and a walk. Cubs got two back, but now the Reds are looking to stretch the lead again. Strategy roll. That's a 20, but Aker but has nothing across on the pickoff ratings. He will concentrate on Morgan. Aker with the deal. Aker, 2-5. Hit by pitch, 12. Plunk. He hit Morgan, and Aker is thrown out of the game. Aker loses all control. And he hits Morgan, another hit batter, and now the bases are loaded and Aker is tossed. And the batter now is Tolan, and still one out. And let's see what they're going to bring in to bat here. And coming on to pitch for the rat for the Cubs is going to be Dan McGinn. No wins, five losses, four saves, a 5-8-9 ERA, though. I'm trying to not use ringer pitchers until the ninth. Any pitcher with less than 10, 10 appearances now, I may not be using now until the ninth inning. So now here's Dan McGinn, and he will go up against Tolan here. The infield is going to play in. They're going to play in. 6-4 Reds, top of the eighth. Tied series at one. McGinn will go ahead. Strategy roll. That is a one, but nothing happening. McGinn will go ahead, and he will pitch. McGinn, 4-5, strikeout. 20 is high. Tolan, 6-5. It's a base hit pass first. It's a single. Concepcion will score. Pete Rose, a base running rating of four. He will come in to score. Morgan with a base running rating of four. He will get to third. Tolan to first. And the Reds get the two runs back. It's eight to four. Stadium groans. <sighs> Tolan again comes through. With a huge two RBIs. He's got five RBIs in this game. Bobby Tolan and the Reds now retake a four-run lead. 
And now here's Bench. And Bench is 0 for 4. Infield now with double play depth. They just want to get this, try to get this inning over. 8 to 4 now. Series tied at 1. Strategy rolls are off. McGinn will pitch to Bench. McGinn, 3 5, strikeout 6. No, that misses. Bench, a 3 1, and that's a ground ball to second base. Did they turn the double play? 3 2. Three. Shortstop. Pivot. Kessinger. Zero. One to three. It's a double play. Yes, they got it. Side retired. Four, six, three double play, but two runs on only one hit, one error, and two hit batters. Eight to four now going on the bottom of the eighth. Ryan B says, bring out Tom Hall. He'll be the next pitcher for the Reds. And Hall has this, that's his, this is his third, I think this is his third appearance. He has no actual official results. Ron Santo leads off for the Cubs. He's one for three. And yes, Pete, and yes, Pete Rose should be livid on the Otani story. He should be. Hall will pitch to Santo here. Bottom of the eighth. The Reds now have an eight to four lead. Once again, a four run lead. Hall will go ahead and pitch. Hall, three six, automatic out. And that's a ground out to third. That'll get taken care of there by Cheney. And the throw goes to first for the out. One down. And now Monday. Monday is 0 for 2 with a walk. Hall with the pitch. No. Remember, no, Brian B., if it hits the star line, that is not a special K. Special K, no, special K only comes off the batter card or, or the ballpark card. It does not come off the pitcher card. If it's off a star line, you use the star line. Special Ks are only off batter or ballpark if it's an out. Star line still matters because that's, what the, kind of, that's the kind of outs the pitcher usually gives up. So Hall will now pitch to Monday. He's 0 for 2. Steeler fan joins us here at Wrigley Field. Hall, 6-2. Possible error. Now that means that there also won't be a special K because I got to do an error check. Monday, 6-4. It's a base hit to left field. It's a single. Left fielder is Rose. His error rating is a 1. That's a 6. He'll get the ball and throw it in. But Monday gets a single. That's his first hit of the ball game. And now the batter is Hundley. Infield does that double play. And let's see. Question is, what do the Cubs want to do here? I think you'll let I think you'll let Hun, Hundley not good against lefties. But I hate to give up the range that he has. Uh, I'm going to take Hundley out. Hundley's going to come out of the game. Coming on to pinch it will be Carmen Fanzoni, 225 average, eight homers, 42 RBIs. It'll be Ken Rudolph taking over at the catcher spot. He stinks behind the plate, but he's got a little better average. So timeout as I will now bring in Rudolph for that position. And he's 1-1, 20 minus 3. So Carmen Fanzoni will pinch it against Hall. One out, bottom of the eighth, eight to four Reds. Hall will go ahead and pitch. Hall, 6-1, walk, 11, and that is too high. Fanzoni, 2-5, and it's a fly ball to center field. Coming under it will be Bobby Tolan. He'll make the catch for out number two. And now we'll see Jose Cardinal. Cardinal is two for three with two singles. 
Two outs now. Bottom of the eighth. Eight to four Reds. Monday still on at first. Hall will pick. Hall. 5-5. Five, five. That's at the park. Wrigley Field. 5-5. Five, five. It's a home run to center field against the lefty. Cardinal needs a 16. That's a 12. And the Cubs get those two runs back. Kaboom! That ball is high, deep, gone! Home run, Jose Cardinal! And the Cubs are back to within two. Stadium cheers! Yay! And now it's eight to six. Cardinal goes ahead and gets all of that one. It was a good pitch by Hall, but he puts that one in center. Now it's eight to six. And now we'll see a pinch hitter for Dan McGinn. And coming on to pinch hit is going to be Bill North. 181 average, no homers, and four RBIs. Bill North will pinch it against Hall. Still two outs here, but now an eight to six ball game. Cardinal having a good night. He's three for four. Hall will pitch to North. Fans at Wrigley Field saying, geez, what could have been? Hall will pitch. Hall, 2-6, strikeout 11. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and the inning is over. Two runs, two hits, a two-run shot by Jose Cardinal. And the Cubs are down by two after eight. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Leading off for the Reds will be Tony Perez. He is two for four. Cubs can now bring in anybody they want to pitch, and that's going to now be Joe Decker. One win, no losses, no saves, a 2-1-3 ERA. Joe Decker will now pitch for the Cubs here in the top of the ninth. Eight to six. Decker's job, keep them where they're at. Decker will pitch to Perez. Decker, 3-1. That's an automatic out. And that's going to be a ground out to second base. That'll get taken care of by Becker. And he'll throw to first, one down. And now Geronimo. Geronimo is 0 for 4. Decker goes ahead and deals. Decker, 4-2, strikeout, 3, swing and a miss, struck him out, 2 away. Decker comes in there and gets the job, and now the batter is McCray. McCray is 0-1 for, for coming in for Daryl Chaney. Two men down, Reds lead 8-6, to six, top of the ninth. Decker trying to get this inning to keep it where it is. Decker, 6-1, that's a blank, he's not tired. McCray, 6-1, against the righty, base hit right up the middle, it's a single. McCray comes through with a base hit. And now here's Concepcion, and he is one for three, a single, walked and reached on an error. Two men down, Decker trying to keep it an eight to six ball game. Two outs, Decker, strategy rolls her off, Decker with the pitch. Decker, 6-1. That's a blank. He's not tired. Concepcion, 3-5. And that's a fly ball to left. Billy Williams will get to it. He will make the catch and retire the side. No runs and a hit for the Natty. And they have an 8-6 lead going into the bottom of the ninth. But will we see some ninth inning magic? He says stay with Hall. Hall can pitch to five, three more batters before he tires. It is the top of the order for the Cubs. Here is Don Kessinger. Kessinger having a great night. Three for four, two singles and a triple. Wait, a Stratomac, someone who never played any of these games. 86 Giants at Astros. Guy I played with told me he's hooked. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew he would be. Stratomac is easy to get uh, addicted to. Hall will go ahead and pitch to Kessinger. Fans here at Wrigley Field hoping they can get a base runner. Hall with the pitch. 
4-3. Home run chance. Switch right. 1-12. to The 13 is too high. Although Kessinger really not a home run hitter. Kessinger, 4-3, but he chops it right back to Hall. He'll make the play and throw it over for the out. Ground out to the pitcher, one away. And now here's Beckert. Beckert is two for three, two singles, and walked. Hall will pitch to Beckert. Fans here, Wrigley Field again, hoping Beckert can get on base. Hall with the pitch. Hall, 5-4, strikeout plus 10. That is a 10. Cold strike three on Beckert, two down. Can't believe it. A strikeout plus 10 makes him a 12, minus 2 a 10. That is a 10, and he is out of there. Two down. And now Billy Williams. Williams, a rough day. 0 for 4 today. Two down. Two outs. 8 to 6. Williams has got to get on base and then hope for, the, hope for someone to get him. Hall will go ahead and pitch. The fans here at Wrigley Field hoping Williams can keep it going. Hall gets the sign, and now he deals. Hall, 3-6. That is an automatic out. And that's going to be a fly ball to center field. Coming over there is Bobby Tolan. He will take a couple of steps forward. Puts out his glove. Block. And the ball falls into it. That's your game. The Reds will win it here at Wrigley Field and take a 2-1 series lead. Stadium groans. Uh. Nothing across for the Cubs. And the Reds will get this one will belong to the Reds as they'll take a 2-1 series lead. And the Cubs will face elimination on Sunday. What a game win here for the Reds. The Cubs just had a tough loss here, but they'll go ahead and take the win. And now what will happen on Sunday will be anybody's game. Final line score coming up. For the Reds, eight runs, ten hits, no errors. For the Cubs, six runs, eleven hits, one error. The winning pitcher is Ross Grimsley. He will go to one and zero in the postseason. Bill Hands will take the loss. He'll go to zero and one. On no hole for Barbone because he did allow runs, but Tom Hall will get the save, and that will be his first. So Hall will wind up with the save here. And come away, and the Reds now are one game away from going on to the NLCS. Tomorrow night, game three of the other National League Division Series. Can the Pittsburgh Pirates stave off elimination? It'll be the Pirates versus the Houston Astros. The Astros lead that series two games to none. Pirates have their backs to the wall at the Astrodome. It will be. It will be it will be uh, Bob Moose for the Pirates and Ken Forsh for the Astros. A big game tomorrow night, an elimination game between the Pirates and the Astros. Can the Strohs punch their ticket to the ALCS, or will the Pirates force a game four? Moose and Forsh, Pirates and Astros, be there or be square. Steeler fan, Jeff Merklin, Jimmy Jam, Brian Patterson, Brian B., David Vega, Sports Time Machine, Phoenix Knight, Klee Baseball fan, after further review with Steve Tower, my name is Mud, Uncle Dave Gardner, Mike in the truck, and uh, let's see here, D. Scott Howard, Frank Rosank, John Haverly, Ryan Sullivan, and I think I got everyone. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so. Make sure you hit the bell.
Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Cincinnati Reds cage the Cubs. They win it 8-6. to six. They lead this National League Division Series two games to one. See you tomorrow night.